So you've installed Phoenix Miner on a Windows 10 PC, you double click on it, you start it up, and you get this error message. Phoenix Miner is not recognized as an internal or external command. This is a very common issue that comes up, and there's a simple solution that I can walk you through and get this up and running. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're at the error message that we just received after running the Phoenix Miner on a Windows 10 PC, where it says that it's not recognized as an internal or external command, it's basically telling you that it doesn't know where this file is. Windows cannot find the file, so what we have to do is find exactly where it's located on your computer. So let's close out of this window. We're gonna go back to the we're gonna go back to the folder where the batch file is, and you can see the entire path up here. We're gonna highlight it and copy it because we need to paste it inside the batch file. So you can go inside and edit it. Look for the phoenixminer.exe line. Here it is, and we want to get in front of it. And then we're going to paste in the line of the entire path and make sure you add a slash. So this is very important. Make sure you add a slash and have another error message. So once you have that in there, you can go to file and save it. And then you can close out of it and then run the batch file. So we're going to run it as administrator, say yes to the prompt. And then we're going to automatically get prompted for the firewall access, allow access. And now you have Phoenix Miner running the way it should be running. The issue here is that Windows cannot locate Phoenix Miner on your PC, and you have to give it the entire path of where that file is. For me, I had it saved on my desktop, and the executable file was extracted there, so I'm giving that entire path, I'm pasting it in the batch file, and then it's up and running. Make sure you save the settings and also add a slash at the end. If you just put in the path without the slash before the phoenixminer.exe is shown, then you're gonna run into more issues. It's still not gonna be able to find it. And actually, you'll probably get a different error altogether. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're looking for other tutorials for miners or other things related to crypto, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it as fast as I can. If you have any suggestions or questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.